Hey everybody, Pastor Luke here. I uh, just thought I'd drop another video on spiritual discipline stuff. I'm getting some good feedback. I encourage you, keep giving me that feedback, asking questions. Um, it helps me do the videos for one thing, but also it's uh, good to know. It's good to know that people are participating and want to know more about this stuff. So um, it's, it's healthy spiritually for you. It's also really good for our church. So know that as well. I've, I've been saying this the whole time as you fast and pray for other people. It's, it's your spiritual discipline increasing for the benefit of other people. Living faith benefits from this. It, it does. Um, it's just a cool thing. So uh, I thought I'd give a, a tip or two on fasting if you're still new to this. And then also talk a little bit about prayer because that was the topic for the sermon last week. And um, it's a good time to be praying when you're fasting. So there you go. A couple of tips on fasting. Maybe you've tried this already and you've done what I recommended that uh, before sunrise, after sunset, and you might have gotten to a spot there at some point where you get a little anxious and you feel really hungry. I use that word anxious. It's, it's not exactly right. But you know, like when you're really, really hungry, like I got to eat something. I got to eat something. That's kind of anxious, right? Your, your body is amped up, tense. You're, you you want to go. You want to grab. You want to eat. It's It feels very, very important to, to eat right then. Uh, one of the things I do is is I look at a clock, look at my watch, and I just go 20 minutes. I'm, I'm just going to just 20 minutes. And what I find oftentimes is that after 20 minutes, it's gone. It's I, I don't know what's happening. There's probably like a medical thing, and there's probably doctors or biologists who know what's going on. Maybe some metabolic change where your brain is shooting you know, whatever signals to your body and your body's responding. I don't know. Um, but, but this is the thing, right? So what I do is I go 20 minutes and at the end of that 20 minutes, if you're still there, then just eat something. If, if it's, if it's like that, because again, this is not about winning. Um, this is, this is not about being so strong and tough that I'm doing this for Jesus. That's, it's not fasting. That's, that is just something completely different. So that's that's the encouragement is if you if you do 20 minutes and just kind of set that as your goal, you're good. Uh, if you did this previously and you're ready for the next step, another level of fasting, my recommendation is, uh, and you can do this Wednesday. Wednesdays just seem to work really well uh, for me and, and my time frame. I get, I get to be not fasted over the weekends. It's awesome. So here's what I would do if, if I were you. I would have a big fat breakfast on Wednesday, tomorrow morning. Um, before the sun comes up and just just lots of proteins, lots of fat, zero sugar, carbohydrates here and there, whatever it is, just just eat big and then go through until evening and just go to bed early <laughs> and then wake up the next morning, Thursday morning, fasted. So why, why I like that is for one thing, you're just spending a lot of that time asleep. <laughs> and that's, that's an easiest way uh, to really get past those hunger pains, but also... Uh, there's some utility to when you wake up in the morning, have that time kind of set, prepped, and and differentiated. So what you can do is you can wake up and you, you can have food ready to be cooked, but cook it and and spend time doing that ritual of cooking. It's it's really the best time because you're fasted, meaning you're you're in that place and you are taking time. You're not just waking up and, and scarfing and being animalistic about it, right? You're, you're not just solving the problem as, as fast as you can. What you're doing is you are spending time. And while you're doing that, especially if you can do it before anybody else is awake in the house, pray. Pray while you're making your eggs, cooking your bacon, making coffee. Pray while you're doing that. And I always find my prayers, you know, kind of drift towards being thankful for all of these things. And prayer in general. Um, I'm guessing you don't pray as much as you'd like. You probably think your prayer life isn't any good. Uh, and I only know that because that's how everybody feels. It's how we all feel. And none of us are, are the best prayers in the world because there's just no such thing. There's some people who are just better at it. There's some people who naturally are just kind of always in prayer. But they're, they're spiritually gifted and they're few and far between. So, and I'm not one of them, <laughs> to be sure. So, so take it from me. Um, just start. And, and there's all these little formulas out there, the ACTS prayer, A-C-T-S, and there's this prayer and that prayer. Just start with, hey, Dad, here's what's going on in my world right now. Just, just talk to him. Just 
talk to him out loud, talk to him in your head, just talk to him, talk to him like he's your dad, because he is, he's your, your heavenly dad. Um, don't hold back, don't be embarrassed, or if you are embarrassed, be like, I'm sorry, I'm so embarrassed, just, just talk to him, just real casually have a conversation while you're cooking your food when you get ready to break your fast. That's, that's really the key to prayer, is you just gotta start. Um, and I'll share more with you uh, about prayer and, and some tips and methods and, and that sort of a thing. But yeah, just begin. Fasting, praying, if you're doing these things, man, this is a, this is a huge step for almost every Christian in, in all of Christendom to just start doing these things on a regular basis. So thanks be to God for the opportunity that we can set aside in Lent to be intentional about these things that really make a huge difference in our own lives and the lives of everybody.